Okay, medium wheel square. You can see the oh, we're sitting quite a far away forward. Okay, touring car rim placed on. It's with the medium. It just clearing the bump stop. I thought it was hitting the knuckle, but it's still got a bit of room. I might have to dremel if I put the small wheel square on. But when I tightened it down, I could feel it. This was, I found it was rubbing right there. Now, full lock, compression, it, it, it's just going to hit. Now, the chances of getting that much compression on road because I haven't set the shock spacers up yet either. That's that's pretty extreme, you know. Maybe there on a hard corner, right? So I could get away with maybe dremeling a bit out of here. We'll see. I'm gonna try cutting. that off to clear the tire. There's not that much has to come off of there. Now with the F1 tire on medium, it's really gonna hit. Even with you know very little compression, it's gonna hit. I didn't even see that stupid. And one of the semi tires I took off because I got the new ones going on. It's it's about the same. Can you believe I was driving with tires that were glued together all the way around? <laughs> and it's it's even more so than the than the F1 tire for where it's gonna hit. There and the back I haven't tried, but I was just wor worried about the front right now. So that's where I'm where I'm at to get to I could get touring car tires on, but I'm never gonna be able to use anything this big on here. Which means I'll have to change the gearing. And but it'll be more like the rally cars. I'm gonna see if I can't get this in further. Because it's still, you know sticking out quite a ways. I should be able to sink the back in. That was pretty wide, but with touring car tires it shouldn't be too bad. And uh, I'll see what happens with